following program contains material that is not suitable for children. Viewer discretion is advised. Live from the Community Media Center in Marin, it's Marin Sanity. Marin Sanity, how we doing tonight, guys? Doing good? Oh, great crowd looking. You guys, man, San Rafael. Anybody from San Rafael? One lady. All right. 10% of the audience. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. You know, the last time I was coming out here, though, I was stuck on 101 in traffic for over an hour and a half. That's the good part of this story. <laughs> I was stuck behind this big lifted truck, right? And on the back of the bumper, he had these rubber balls hanging. <laughs> Have you seen the rubber testicles? <laughs> yeah? You ever have to explain that to your six-year-old daughter? <laughs> yeah, that got weird. You know, <laughs> Dad, what is that? Oh, that right there, that's, uh, that's what a broken heart looks like. Now I'm just hoping I need a scar for life, you know what I mean? I don't want her to be in junior high breaking up with her first crush, drawing a bunch of broken hearts in her binder. <laughs> This is a good crowd, man. I, I'm so happy you guys are here tonight. Let me tell you right now, because I don't always get a crowd like this. No, I did a show like a month ago for 150 bikers. Oh. Yeah, I'm not talking Tour de France bikers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm talking Sons of Anarchy season three type of shit. <laughs> yeah, these dudes made me nervous, right? And the whole time, I didn't want any of them coming up and talking to me. So the whole night, I just ended up walking around, you know, pretending <laughs> like I had a wire on. <laughs> Oh, you the comedian? You better be funny, fool. Oh, thanks, man. I'm going to do my best. Six foot five, Caucasian male. <laughs> no. Hey, listen, I, hey, I'm sure those bikers are nice, you know. I didn't see myself being friends with them. They're not even on Facebook. <laughs> right? Actually, my wife says that I'm on Facebook way too much. She says, you need to slow it down. And I told her, I said, hey, no problem. You know, I'll stop Facebooking uh, once you stop Match.com. <laughs> It's okay, guys. My wife's here tonight. She approves of that joke. <laughs> and so does her date. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Facebook's getting out of hand, isn't it? Don't you think so? I had a buddy the other day. He broke up with his lady on Facebook because she posted a picture of Magic Mike, the movie. Have you seen it, ladies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One lady's seen it a few times, huh? No, Magic Mike, though. I'm like, I'm really thinking, like, dude, it's a movie. You know, what are you worried about? You know, <laughs> three weeks ago, my wife went to Las Vegas. I wasn't worried about Magic Mike. <laughs> no, nah, man, I was worried about Reality Mike. <laughs> huh? Large bank account Mike? <laughs> Some skinny dude they just so happen to call Big Mike? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, fellas in the house, make some noise, fellas. <laughs> yeah? You, any uh, UFC fans here tonight? UFC? All you in the back, thank you. All of you in the back are UFC fans. <laughs> Listen, way to back me up, guys. Wait. The five guys here, thank you. I, uh, I love watching the UFC fights, okay? I can't watch the fights no more at my friend Domingo's house, though. <laughs> now, <laughs> last time I was there, it got a little crazy, a little out of hand, right? My buddy looks me right in the eye, and he tells me, he said, hey, Sam, dude, you can last one round. And then he says, Sam, I got $20 saying you can last one five minute round shadow boxing. <laughs> shadow boxing, right? I said, dude, you were on. Fast forward three minutes later, I'm giving him 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not mad about the money, man. I'm mad I lost the fight. <laughs> uh, apparently, my shadow is badass. <laughs> and like ever since then, my shadow's walking around with this attitude like he has something to say. Like, do you guys think this world would be a different place if shadows can talk? <laughs> huh? I mean, really, call us out on all the stuff we do. I picture myself sitting there eating lunch as my shadow's giving me that look. <laughs> Another hamburger. Uh, maybe you haven't noticed lately we're covering a lot of ground here. <laughs> yeah, I know it's funny, but I'm going to tell you right now, shadows can talk. I know at least half of us in here will be having sex with the lights off. <laughs> I know I would, okay? I'm just saying, you know, I don't want to be at home with my wife, you know, trying to get it on, 
and looking to the wall and my shadows trying to outdo me. <laughs> and the saddest thing, my wife's shadows look like she's having a better time. <laughs> okay, you guys act like you haven't seen a shadow before, huh? <laughs> just, <laughs> I just got going with these shadows jokes. Huh? <laughs> Anyways, guys, listen, that's my, my, my uh, comedy portion of the show tonight. Thank you. <laughs> we have some... We have some really awesome comics here tonight. Uh, your next performer, man, he's a local uh, Bay Area comic, one of my favorites, all the way from Oakland, California. Put your head, hands together. Please welcome Matt Curry, everybody. Let him hear it. Keep going for Sam Meeker, everybody. Awesome host. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We got uh, Valentine's Day coming up next week. We got, all right. Lover of love, I like that. Um, I got broken up with last weekend. That's the thing that happened. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. You're very kind. You don't have to feel uh, bad. You don't have to. I don't know. I don't feel as bad as I've felt in other breakups I've had in my past because this one, um, I didn't know we were together. Was the situation? <laughs> we, we, we went on like four dates, and then she wanted to get together for brunch last Saturday. Just let me know I was going any further than that, and. I don't know. You can you can just not answer two texts in a row, and I'll get the picture. I don't think we need to bring Eggs Benny into this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, don't know. I, don't know. I think she was more old-fashioned. I think she was looking for more of a boyfriend-type situation. Uh, she's very into hand-holding right off the bat, first date, which I don't know, it's fine once in a while. But literally, we get together, and uh, I start walking across the street, and I notice she's not next to me. And then I look back, and she's standing there at the curb like this. <laughs> just waiting for me. And I look back at her. Uh, I look at the crosswalk sign, it says seven seconds. You know what I'm saying? There's no way I'm getting to you and across the street in time. It's ridiculous. Uh, but I didn't say that. I, I went and I held her hand, and I saved it all for you guys, because that's how I deal with things in life. So, <laughs> welcome, you know, not a big deal. I don't know. The other thing she would do, similar vein, she would rest her head on my shoulder anytime we'd sit down anywhere, which I feel like I'm coming off anti-PDA. It's fine once in a while. Like, I don't know, you're watching a sunset or if you're on the couch watching some public access comedy or whatever, that's <laughs> just great. But <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you guys have seen Jerry Maguire, but the human head weighs eight pounds. It's not always convenient to have on your shoulder. <laughs> She didn't have a neck problem or anything. It was just kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> Coming off bad. Can I talk a little more shit about this girl? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she did this thing on Saturday. I feel like I get a little leeway. Um, all right, one other thing I didn't love about her, she was, she's kind of insecure. And, and we're all insecure. I don't wear shorts outside very often. But <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I don't talk about it very much besides on stage. I I just feel like she would bring it up a lot, and I felt like she was she was fishing for compliments, and it was a lot of random stuff I didn't know how to respond to. She'd be like, "I hate my pinky toes." <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I had, I love your pinky toes, babe. They're amazing. Please wear <laughs> flip flops tonight, whatever you do. <laughs> I don't know. The other one that she said probably a bad idea. She said she had always been self conscious of her small forehead, which. Honestly, I didn't know it was a thing to have a small forehead. Like, heard a lot of five head talk, but never three head. But um, she said it, and it made me take a closer look, and it is a thing. Um, <laughs> and yeah, she had it. Just went like eyebrows, a little bit of skin, hairline right there. <laughs> and she's a beautiful girl. I, I hadn't noticed it for like a month, month and a half. Then after that, that's all I could notice anytime we'd be talking. She's like, eyes are not here, man. I'm <laughs> doing my best. I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like the lesson here is just love yourself or push it deep down inside or talk about it with your sister or something. But I don't know. <laughs> All right. Subject change. Uh, um, I went to work today. I'm a substitute teacher. It's my little side hustle I got going on. Uh, I'm enjoying <laughs> it. Thank you. It's a new job for me, but it's been a good fit. I, I always had a real passion uh, for passing out worksheets. <laughs> so I love, you know what I'm saying? Love turning overhead projectors on and off. So 
You get to tell kids whether or not they can go to the bathroom. I don't know if it, any of you have that kind of power in your jobs, but <laughs> it's, it's about the perks, people. I don't know. One thing I don't like about being a sub, uh, you have to call roll every period, and inevitably some kid gets mad I didn't pronounce his name perfectly, and I just want to let him know it's nothing personal. I'm not trying to mess you with, I don't know, <laughs> this, this isn't a key and peel bit, just please. Because the anger's misdirected. I feel like you got to talk to your parents about putting two Y's consecutively <laughs> in the middle of your name. I don't know, like, <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I, I had a kid get mad at me last week because uh, I called him Joel, and his name is Joel, spelled <laughs> J-O-E apostrophe L. And I just want to tell him, no offense, I like the name, actually. It's just, it's just when I was growing up, it was all letters. We didn't, you know, what I'm saying we didn't have any punctuation involved <laughs> whatsoever. So just free pass on this first try here, Joel. I don't know. I I hope we get it off at apostrophes. I hope it's not just open season on all punctuation because I think it's gonna get rough on the subs. Just like reading down roll and seeing semicolons and question marks in there. <laughs> and, uh, Christopher here, Stephanie here, Andre. <laughs> Thank you. Finally, someone pronounced a question mark. Exactly, Mr. Curry. <laughs> Perfect. And hashtag ampersand money symbol, money symbol. <laughs> no, it's the future, people. I'm afraid. <laughs> you, you know, it doesn't get mad when you mess up their names, and I appreciate it. I've noticed the Indian kids. They they have rough names and they roll with it and I don't know <laughs> I'll, I'll give you an example. If you be reading that roll for them and you just feel like Mario here, Monica here, Div shit. <laughs> Div <laughs> just call me DJ. <laughs> okay, I appreciate that. Look it up. Good. <laughs> I uh, was out of school a couple weeks ago. And they had a, a large group of Chinese kids, like recent immigrants, and they would go a step further and provide you with an English alternative to their name, which I appreciate. They'll be like, hi, my name's Rin Zhao. <laughs> oh, Steve. <laughs> and just like, Thank you, I'm going to go with Steve. That one's way easier than that first one you said. <laughs> uh, I asked Steve where the name came from. Uh, it's a real kid, and, and first of all, he didn't say or Steve. He was like, I mean, Steve. And I was like, I don't think it does. <laughs> uh, your heart's in the right place. But he said that they get to choose their English names, their American names. They think it's cool, put it in the hands of the kids. But Steve, that's what you're going with? I don't know. Go big, buddy. You, you can put punctuation in your names. I don't know if you heard. I, I <laughs> figure if I got to name myself at 13, it would not have been Matthew. That's all I'm saying. It would have been something badass for 13, something like Shredder or Rizza or Kush or something. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Weed or Wu Tang related? <laughs> no. All right, that's my time. Thank you, Marin. You are Marin Sane. <laughs> Keep it going, guys. Matt Curry, huh? Let him hear it. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, your next uh, comic uh, performs stand up all over the Bay Area. Uh, is a co host of the Downton Abbey podcast. Up yours, downstairs. <laughs> Put your hands together. Please welcome Kelly Anakin, everybody. Let her hear it. When I was a teenager, my mother gave me some advice. She said, Kelly, watch out. <laughs> Boys are only interested in one thing. And I was like, oh my God, I hope it's sex. <laughs> because I do not have any money. <laughs> I wish I was beautiful. Like, I'm pretty. I know this. Like, this guy's not going to kick me out of bed, right, sir? <laughs> yes, good. Correct answer. I appreciate your speed, uh, which incidentally is also what I'll say to you in bed. So full marks, full marks. But ladies, you all know what I'm talking about. Some of you are living it. It's just better to be beautiful. 
When you're beautiful, you just get more stuff. <laughs> if I was beautiful, I would have just spent all of high school eliminating my gag reflex. <laughs> so that when I graduated, I could just mouth bang my way to a powder blue Bentley and a beachfront mansion. I remember when I was a little girl, people used to ask me, they'd say, Kelly, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be? And I would tell them, anorexic. <laughs> I'll never forget the day I said that to my mother. She just looked at me and said, Kelly, sweetheart, you don't have that kind of willpower. <laughs> <coughs> I'm glad you guys left. The eating disorder material sometimes rubs people the wrong way, you know? But, you know, let's move on. Let's just purge that from our memory and we'll just... <laughs> I have been thinking about uh, losing some weight recently, dropping some pounds, slimming down. But I was like, why? <laughs> I get laid like all the time. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Do not skip dessert. Do not spend 30 minutes doing cardio at the gym. That is 30 minutes that I could be making some loser on a skateboard eat my pussy. <laughs> I can't just let that go. He could roll away. I got to I got to get some new friends you guys. I got to get some new friends. Mine are all worn out. <laughs> they're no good to me anymore. I asked them for career advice and they're like, "Kelly, just do what you love. Just find what you love and just do what you love. Just do what you love." And I'm like, "Thanks. You went to Harvard. That's very easy for you to do." <laughs> and besides, doing what I love is not a good plan for me. Doing what I love is how I wound up with a theater degree in HPV. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly what I love is bad for me. I uh, I visited a nursing home recently. You guys ever been? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Cool. Uh, usually I have to explain to people that a nursing home is like an aquarium for old people. <laughs> you know, just like plastic plants everywhere, people moving very slowly, <laughs> waiting to get fed. <laughs> so I was at a nursing home, and I was there to visit my grandmother, by the way. I wasn't just trolling the nursing home, ma'am. I was visiting, visiting Majima, and I saw this lady. She was restocking all of the adult diapers, and I could see the brand name, and it said, Prevail, <laughs> which I thought was very insensitive, since obviously none of those people were prevailing over shit, <laughs> literally. <laughs> and I just, you know, I just hope that by the time I'm in a nursing home, there's a less tragically ironic brand of adult diaper available. <laughs> you know, something like Surrender. Or do not resuscitate. <laughs> I'm on face. Anybody here on Facebook? Yeah. All right, great. An honest crowd. I love that. I appreciate your honesty. Don't go into politics. Um, so I'm on Facebook. I like Facebook, but I do have some issues with Facebook. I have some ish with the FB. <laughs> Mainly, it's a graveyard for all the friendships I failed to maintain over the years. <laughs> Facebook tells me things about my friends I wish I didn't know, like who can't spell. I have this one friend on Facebook who's super irritating. She doesn't have a job. She's very wealthy, so she has to update us on her ongoing existential crisis every five minutes. So she'll post things like, oh, <laughs> studying abroad in Italy wasn't everything I hoped it would be, frowny face. <laughs> it's like, cry me a river, Amanda Knox. <laughs> same girl, same friend likes to pray on Facebook, like, to God in front of everybody. <laughs> She'll be like, dear God, what is your plan for me? I'm so tired of waiting, love, Caroline. <gasps> Winky, frowny face. <laughs> Which I just don't understand, because it's like if your one-on-one -on -one time with a man upstairs is not yielding the appropriate results, I don't think publicly shaming him on Facebook is going to work either. <laughs> She's not even friends with a guy. He's not going to show up in his news feed. <laughs> Uh, well, as you can tell from my jokes about nursing homes and eating disorders, I'm a feminist. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. But don't worry. Don't get too scared, Marin. I'm not a real feminist. Uh, I'm not a real feminist because I've never been on a Take Back the Night rally. <laughs> yeah. If you're not familiar, Take Back the Night rally is where ladies make a bunch of signs, and they're like, stop raping us! <laughs> and then dudes are like, no! No! <laughs> 
And I have never been on a Take Back the Night rally because, frankly, I don't like that gamble. Do not like that gamble. You go on a Take Back the Night rally, you better take it back that night. Because <laughs> when it's over, you still got to walk home alone in the dark. <laughs> and as we all know, that's just the cold open to an episode of Law & Order Special Victims Unit waiting to happen. <laughs> I can just see it now. Choke, choke. Ice-T and Richard Belzer walk in. B-Cop found her in a dumpster. Roommate says she's on her way back home from a Take Back the Night rally. (laughs) (laughs) That was iced tea. (laughs) A Take Back the Night rally. (laughs) Guess she forgot her receipt. (laughs) (laughs) Such a jazzy song for that show. It's really... (laughs) If I ever strip, it'll be to that song. So I know, guys, I know, I tell a lot of jokes for the ladies, but where's my man at? All right. Kind of low sperm count in this crowd. So, <laughs> ladies, raw dog it at your discretion. Uh, gentlemen, just want to let you all know, there's been a lot of news coming out of the Supreme Court recently. Just want to make sure you're all aware, it is now legally permissible if your lady friend passes out from having too much to drink. It is legally permissible for you to draw a dick on her face. <laughs> Just decided landmark Supreme Court case, bros v. Hose. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm Kelly Anakin. Please give it up for Sam Meeker. One more time, guys. Kelly Anakin, huh? Very nice. Very nice. All right. Your, uh, guys, your last comic for the night for the show tonight Okay, uh, she's performed all over the Bay Area, as well as Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Seattle, and New York. Please welcome Priya Prasad, everybody. Let her hear it. Yay. Hi, you guys. It is a miracle I'm here today. I drank too much last night. (laughs) Yay, Super Bowl. Go Seahawks. No? Okay. (laughs) (laughs) You guys, it's me. I know, it's me, the Shaquille O'Neal of Indian women. (laughs) I'm here. You can relax. I'm here, you guys. I've always been this stature, always been this width (laughs) and height. (laughs) It's been a part of my life since childhood. When I was a kid, we were all, uh, all the Indian kids in the community were brought together once a year to do little plays and skits, you know? The adults would, you know, assign us characters. All my girlfriends would be the princesses, you know, the maidens, the fair maidens. (laughs) And I would be cast as Jatayu. You want to know who Jatayu is? (laughs) Jatayu is the half vulture, half man character. (laughs) This is a true story. Every fucking year I'm Jatayu. (laughs) And I have to go save the fair maidens. Don't be jealous, you guys. <laughs> My life is amazing. I can call like nobody else <laughs> had practice. I'm Indian, you guys. <sighs> Surprise. I um, <laughs> I do the Indian accent. You know, people always ask, like, you, you know, is it is it weird? Do do people Indians find it weird when we make fun of the Indian accent? And I don't feel weird. <laughs> I feel like it's my right because I was born in Seattle. Um, <laughs> And so, you know, Microsoft. Um, <laughs> my, my cousins used to make me, like, read things in an Indian accent when I would go visit them in India. They would pull newspapers, books, random magazines, and just have me read random things with an Indian accent, you know? My favorite was, my favorite was to do my uncle. My uncle uh, was a vegetarian, okay? Vegetarian uncle... And every time he would go to the restaurant, to an, a restaurant to order, he would find the most unvegetarian thing to order. And this is how he'd order. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Bring me the menu. I'll show you what I want. <laughs> I would like one hamburger <laughs> with no ham. <laughs> one hamburger, no ham, with a side of Caesar salad. No anchovies. 
sir, you know what you're asking is impossible, right? There's anchovies in the dressing. I know that, but you take it out. <laughs> My God says I cannot have. So I would like one hamburger, no ham, one sesar salad, no anchovies. <laughs> and I'd be like, Uncle, you can't order. It doesn't work like that. You can't order that. They can make it. They have kitchen. <laughs> They have supplies in kitchen, don't they? They can make whatever I ask. <laughs> <laughs> so every time, and they would bring out like uh, bread with onions and tomato and lettuce and a lettuce salad with ranch dressing on it because that's what he fucking ordered. Ha, <laughs> ah, exactly. <laughs> that is what I wanted. Very good. Ah, they listen. <laughs> this is a good place. They listen. <laughs> I am vegetarian. Don't be embarrassed of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite word, <laughs> embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> it's the best. My uncle was the best. Um, well, what else should I tell you guys? <laughs> I, uh, Indian. I love being Indian. We get the best advice from our parents, Indian advice. It's Indian values, but they say it with like American sayings, so it comes out super fucked up, right? You know, <laughs> it's like, uh, what do you think? What do you think a job? You should go get a job. What do you think money grows in the grass? <laughs> Why are you always so angry, walking around with such big potato chip on your shoulder? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Don't worry, sometimes things like this are a blessing in a ski mask. <laughs> are, is it dad, really? That's why I date burglars. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I'm single, you guys. Single. I was in a threesome recently. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, um, it's continued. Uh, it's basically a part of my everyday life, you know. It's tough, it's tough to let go of a threesome, especially when it's uh, between me, my chin hair, and my tweezers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ladies, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I have a tweezer in my car, tweezer at work, <laughs> tweezer in my back pocket. <laughs> Just in case of those chin hairs, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Fellas? All right, I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I am single, though. I'm fucking single as shit. <laughs> Surprise, I'm a comedian. I mean, what do you want from me? <laughs> I'm like my parents' worst nightmare. They paid for four year college, and I know I'm a fucking single ass comedian at 38 years old. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least I don't have a unibrow, you guys. So <laughs> we're good there. We're good there. Single. I, uh, <laughs> oh, on our way here, we drove by San Quentin. I was like, Kelly, say hi to my ex. <laughs> yeah. Dated all kinds, you guys. Prisoners, ex convicts. <laughs> I haven't dated any junkies or Republicans, though, so I haven't hit bottom. <laughs> I have not hit bottom yet, so good to go. All right, I'm going to leave you guys on that. Thank you guys. My name is Prasad. One more time, guys. Priya Prasad, everybody, huh? Did we have a good time tonight? Yeah. We're insanity, baby. This is where it's all about. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. Until next time, good night.